You know you love your job when you're still having fun with it after 25 years. Guy Fearless Field has been a judge at the Bakel's Pie Awards since their very inception. On the surface, his philosophy is simple. When you walk into a shop and you see a pie, it either strikes you as being a nice pie or a bad pie. And if you, if you don't like the look of it, I'm sorry, but they don't, people don't buy it. But he's not earned the moniker fearless by holding back in his judgement. Every time it's a mixed bag, I mean, you can get a pie that looks absolutely superb and unfortunately the taste lets it down. Creamy sauce, celery, broccoli, pumpkin, carrot, sweet corn. Peas. This year, Guy's been assigned to the veggie pies, a category he says gets better every year. The standard is just right up there, you know, and people are getting more health conscious. So the, when you make the pastry, you're trying to think of the health conscious part of it as well, you know, the sodium content, all those things come into it. Meat lovers haven't been forgotten, with categories for steak and cheese, steak and gravy and bacon and egg to name a few. Matt chins on the mince pies all day, but he and his fellow judges aren't allowed to tuck in straight away. There's a strict method to follow. First round, that's we. how many pies did we judge? 244 pies. Um, basically we just judge the external pastry, bottom and top and then we go and look at the filling, we don't yet taste it. With the field whittled down to about 30 pies based on looks, only the most alluring in each category are heated up for the taste test. Welcomed back as the contest's celebrity judge for the second time, Al Brown says the competition keeps lifting its game. People are really thinking outside the circle, and I try, you know, I tried a, what they call a Reuben pie, which, you know, had corned beef in it, it had sauerkraut, it had... Um, mustard etc and white sauce and I thought oh really ate it brilliant absolutely brilliant as the day marches on we find judge Tracy Bartlett at the gourmet station she says it's a tough category to judge with such a range of flavors coming through butter chicken there's a really nice seafood one yeah wasn't there shrimp Shrimp. pork and watercress boil up a matariki pie yeah yeah with a nice little star on top and trying to find some common ground between the three judges is its own challenge. So we all have different flavours. Like for me, I don't like a really spicy pie. So I'm going to probably put that down a little bit in my um, scoring. So it, it balances it out, doesn't it? But we will all get to the best pie, there's no doubt about it. Just in case, I don my jacket and decide to give this judging thing a try. Uh, did you guys need any help over here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just left or right. You can just help us with left or right. OK. Left. It's down to the final two pies in the steak and cheese category. Time to put my recent culinary education to the test. Steak diced, or is there another? No, just that's, that's yeah. the only one. Steak diced and cheese. Maximum baked weight. Um, well, can't really judge that by sight. Top pastry flaky. After a small portion of each pie, I've made up my mind. Now, what happens if there's a split vote here? There's only three of us on the council. Oh, there's only three of us. Oh, sorry, I, I, oh, thought, sorry. I, no. I thought I was one of you. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't come down to that, with a clear favourite from all four judges. But before I hand in my resume, I just have one more question for Mr Fearless Field. Is this, in fact, the best job in the world? Well, it's not too good on your waistline. <laughs> The winners of each category and the supreme winner of the Bakel's Pie Awards will be announced on Tuesday.